I'm Phil Hughes and I'm here at the NCC um, here today just to um, go through a couple of little basics about the cut shot. Yeah, look, I, I come in and, um, and just stay pretty um, calm at the crease and try and stay really relaxed. And, um, you know, the first thing I do when I'm here is obviously um, get down and mark centre. You know, I like to bat on a, a round middle stump, just depending on um, what type of bowler it is and if they're coming over the wicket or around. Um, I'll vary my, you know, my movements around the crease, but usually around middle um, to middle and off. And, and my stance is pretty, um, pretty square and I just really like to stay um, very, you know, calm and relaxed at the crease. When the bowler's coming in, um, you know, I like to, as again, stay calm and, and all my focus is, in, is on that ball. So trying to pick that ball out of his hand um, and just watching the bowler and that ball coming in um, at the start of the top of his run and all the way really sharpen up when he comes around the umpire. With a cut shot, it's definitely one of my favourite um, favorite shots. So I look to get forward first and then really get back. And the cut shot to shot that I've always um, played is you know, when I was eight years of age and um, it's something that I, I like to get back on the balls of my feet and really rise and get over the top of the ball. So I think the one, number one thing here about the cut shot is making sure that all my weight um, at all times is over my back foot when I play the shot. I'm always looking to, you know, watch the ball 100% um, of the time and looking to try and be as sharp as I can um, and making sure I track the ball, getting over the shot and getting over the ball and once I go to hit the hit the ball, I like to roll my wrist and try and keep the ball on the ground at all, all times. Down. With this shot, it's, um, you know, you can really play around with it, you know, in different areas. You've got, you know, if the, the wider the ball is, you know, you can go hit the ball hard and, you know, I like to keep it along the ground. The wider the ball, um, I like to go, um, you know, hit it in front of point, you know, contact the ball, you know, basically, you know, just in front of my eye line and my body line um, and sort of meet the ball more so. You know, really get that really good access and hit, you know, in front of point or just behind point. Um, that's the one I really love is when the ball gets wide, trying to be as sharp as I can um, and making sure I track the ball all the way back and like to hit the ball as late as possible and really watch the ball and really roll my wrist at the last uh, point of contact. When the ball's closer with me, I like to let it come even more and play with it even down to third man. But really, the key here is you've got to really watch the ball all the way in because, you know, the keeper's there and, you know, the, the high risk is really um, involved. But, you know, cutting spinner, um, you know, you've got to really pick up the length and, and depending on which way the ball is turning. But, you know, I, I love the cut shot. So, you know, it's a, it, again, it's about being sharp on your feet and really getting back and getting, you know, transferring that, that weight back on the back foot. And, and you know, playing with depending on where the field is, where you can you know use your wrists around the field. I used to love watching Justin Ling. I used to come home from school, and um, you know, he he was quite cheeky with the cut shot. I found you know he could you know nip lope the field, and he'd he'd go from fine all the way to you know in front of square. And you know, he's one I've really watched um, you know growing up how to play the cut shot. Um, another one is. Brian Lara, I thought you know he's obviously a great and he could play um, any shot uh, in the book. But you know he had an amazing cut shot and he really you know slashed the ball hard through that point backward um, point area. So he was another one I really love watching. You know drills are something that we use. Um, you know we practice a lot of and the drills are, are very good just to get your feet going and get your wrists really going and really being sharp. And you can just get a mate to you know throw your balls from half the wicket and. Um, and really even they could be just full tosses and, and making sure that your mate throws the ball from, you know, say a metre away from you all the way into, you know, close to your body. So you can really manipulate and, and play, you know, different different things. And it's about you, it's about feeling um, what's best for you. Um, so it's about doing drills over and over again, continuing to do and, and just to become, you know, better and sharper at that shot. And, you know, I know personally I do a lot of drills um, all around my game, but especially the cut shot, it's something that uh, I've always done from a young age, and you know, it's a shot I really love playing. That's his area, isn't it? Square of the wicket on the offside. Guys, I hope these tips today um, will help you in the future, and you know, you could just get your mates and go down the nets and um, have a good time and just practice with your mate, and hopefully you can get better um, in the future. So, thanks for listening today, guys. Hope it's been well.